Hi, my friend. I've been thinking about you. Today I wanted to talk about the power of love energy and it's it's part of uh it's part in the equation of coming into a place of more self-esteem. And for me, the love energy is our innate original state of energy. I love energy work. I teach Qigong. I teach tapping. And I have found, given uh, what Western medicine has to offer, that this is a deeper, much deeper uh, path to remembering the magnificence of who we truly are. So how does love energy heal us? Well, you know, most of us have been taught that we're less than, that we're not good enough in some way, that we don't look a certain way, we don't act a certain way, and that's um, not okay. Boy, what a harsh, harsh way to come up in life, isn't it? I guess it's there's some contract we make as souls to come down here and learn about the life school of pain, but the purpose being to get through it and return to our natural, happy, more joyous place, our, our innate place of love that you see babies and puppies come into life with. And those words, those events that came at us with, uh, that caused us pain, um, you know, those barbs, those thoughts from people that were also not healed did not know what pure love energy was. That's now how I think of um, my parents and some of my teachers. Um, God bless them. They just didn't know, you know. But now we know, and that 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 painful energy is a denser, lower frequency of energy, and we do have the power to make shifts by remembering more often that love is our innate state of energy and giving ourselves more kindness more often because this is how why actually love energy heals us because it's a very high level it's the highest level of energy in the universe and it has the power to dissolve all pain all fear and all doubt we just have to keep remembering to give our pain, our doubts, etc., our less than full self-esteem, give it up, trans, transmute it, allow the light, the love, the God energy to dissolve it for us. Just got to remember that more and more frequently. And I put post-it notes up whenever I want to remember something that hasn't been a, a habit yet. Um, just whatever it takes, you know, to, to remember who we are more and more frequently. You know, in meditation they talk about OM. You've probably, well, it's actually one of the four components of Qigong is chanting or the sound that you make. And OM is in fact the sound of the universe. It's a frequency that matches the full potentiality of love. So you can either say the word love, same thing, or, or God, or universal intelligence. So you can sing that, I suppose, as long as you know in your heart that it's the highest level of love energy. And you can just think it, you know, I often just hold my um, my own shoulders because there is something about human touch this kindness that we may not have received before just a pat on the back or a, a squeeze a hug who boy these are the things we can do to come back to our natural state of love more and more and remember that as we do so as we fill ourselves with more love and kindness and compassion more frequently, these, these uh, practices lighten our energy field, bring us closer to that full state of love that quantum physics talks about as well, 
this full potentiality, remembering this is our innate state, but we're also con all connected by it because we're all made of this universal love. And this is how, just by sitting at home and giving yourself some kind thoughts, you can affect the world today. Others in it doesn't matter where they are. This is the premise of Qigong, that our energy is connected and we don't have to be sitting next to each other to affect, affect someone else's energy field. We can send them love, or just by giving ourselves love, we are in fact changing the energy field of the universe, of people on the planet, of the planet itself. That's an extraordinary way to look at life, isn't it? Ah, oh, you know, I watched a a TED talk yesterday that I broadcast also out to my local chamber, and it was a young Buddhist nun who, wow, radiated love in a tremendous way, and helped me remember to put that URL into the comments. <clears throat> and she had a different perspective on meditation than I had heard before. For me, I had heard of meditation as uh, trying to sit quietly, sit still, you know, which is hard for us in the beginning, and just quiet your mind, let the thoughts go by like a train going by. But she just went right to the heart of it. She said, just sit still and focus on peaceful, positive thoughts. Peaceful, positive thoughts. And immediately, I, of course, always go to the room full of puppies and laughter and their sweet, innocent joy, right? So focusing on maybe it's kittens or babies for you, whatever it is for you, that helps us come to a place of full potentiality of love. And there's also a roomy quote that I heard the other day that I wanted to share. And boy, that guy, I tell you, what, what a smart guy. He said, the wound is where the love, the light enters us. The wound is where the light enters us. So in my mind, there's a soul contract we make to come onto this planet that currently is in a lot of pain and upheaval. Why did we choose now? Well. I think it's to not only learn more about the deep essence of love by having gone into the pain, but also that this is a special time and those of us that can remember to hold love more and more frequently, oh man, that gets me, that we can, re those of us that can remember to hold love more frequently <laughs> in our hearts. Um, we are the ones that have chosen to hold the light, you know, for all of us. So just remember who you are more frequently. Number one, put posters up everywhere. Um, think of positive, positive, peaceful energy as you sit quietly a room full of puppies and maybe remember the roomy quote more frequently the wound is where the light enters us and I just wish for you a beautiful day a beautiful Thanksgiving if you're in the US and let's all hold the light for each other because by doing so this is bringing healing energy it truly is bringing healing energy to all of us and we need that we need that right now. Hoping you're well. Please take good care, and we'll talk soon, I know. Bye for now.